Farming is more than cow families, pedigrees, and production for the Brewer family of Glen Ann Holsteins in Albany. Farming includes sharing a connection with those in their agricultural community and in the registered Holstein business. Glenn and Joanne Brewer, along with their family, owned and operated the 70 cow dairy. The herd was known for cows that scored well, stood the test of time, and put milk in the tank. Both Glenn and Joanne grew up in Greene County where they graduated from Albany High School. Glenn attended UW Platteville to run cross country, then stayed in Grant County after graduation, teaching agriculture and becoming a loan officer. Joanne got her teaching degree as well and taught school in the same area. After daughters Tammy and Tracy were born, they decided to move back to Albany and raise their kids on a farm. They purchased the farm next to where Joanne grew up and began dairying with 40 grade cows. As years passed, Tony was born and an addition to the barn was constructed, doubling the size and registered Holsteins started to fill the barn. As Tammy got old enough to show, Glenn would buy registered calves. It was a purchase at the Green County Holstein sale that changed Glen Ann forever. J.J. Jeanette E.B. Booty was acquired in 1981 as a September calf. Booty became the first excellent cow at Glen Ann, the first to have more than 200,000 pounds of milk lifetime, and was a gold medal dam and dam of merit. At one time, half of the herd traced back to Booty. Glenn continued to make improvements for cow comfort to increase production or make working more efficient. A TMR mixer was purchased and the old part of the barn was remodeled with new, larger stalls and cow mats. Labor efficiency improved with a power feed cart and bedding chopper. These updates helped produce an average of over 30,000 pounds of milk with nearly 1,300 pounds of fat and 1,000 pounds of protein. Type also improved over time. Glen Ann Jasper Shiner, Excellent 94, was an example of this and was Glen's favorite cow. She was one of seven excellent daughters of Glen Ann Durham Sharla, Excellent 93, a descendant of Booty. Sharla lived to be 16 years old, producing a lot of milk and many show-winning daughters. Shiner's daughter, Glenn Ann Goldchip Shiraz, Excellent 92, was tapped grand champion at the 2017 District 6 show. Glenn and Joanne truly appreciated their homebred animals and enjoyed letting youth borrow heifers to show. Occasionally, Glenn even let a good one get away. Glenn Ann Dorman Booty, Excellent 94, a descendant of the original Booty, was sold to Clayton and Cole Malcook as a calf and went on to be nominated Junior All-American in milking form. Booty was a big part of the Malcook boys' journey in the registered Holstein business. While the majority of the Glen Ann herd was homebred, there were a few exceptions. A cow leaving the biggest impact was Wilcoxview BC Finale, Excellent 93 a gold medal dam who made more than 200,000 pounds of milk in her 18 years. In 2019, she had seven living generations on the farm. Finale was a special young calf for Brian Banky and Tammy during their time at Wilcox Farms in Washington and made the long distance trip to Wisconsin after a Wilcox View herd sale. All animals on the farm starting with PH trace back to this family favorite. Finale joined a couple of other Wilcox View bred animals, including Wilcox View Perfect Formation, Very Good 87, Perfect's Rudolph daughter, Glen Ann Miss Pepperdine, Very Good 89, became a major genetic player at the farm. Pepperdine, her daughters, and granddaughters helped put the farm on the world map and garnered a lot of international visitors, AI contracts, and embryo exports. Her son, Palermo, was a popular Goldwyn son at Accelerated Genetics, and great-grandson, Providence, did well at CMEX. The goal at Glen Ann was to breed for positive production and type as the first criteria when selecting sires. When the kids were young and showing, a portion of the herd was bred to high-type show sires, which also laid the foundation for families to produce very good and excellent cows. 
Over the last decade, more emphasis was placed on cows that could score well, but make at least 150,000 pounds of milk by the end of their six-year-old lactation. The culmination of breeding and management earned Glenn Ann Holsteins a place on Holstein USA's Herds of Excellence list in 2016, one of only four herds honored that year. Over the last few years, a decision was made on the future of the Glen Ann herd. The tie stall barn was starting to show its age, so the possibility of a free stall was discussed. But with Glenn's passing in February of 2020 and Joanne continuing to fight and then losing her own battle with cancer, the decision was made to start selling the milking herd privately after the August 2020 classification. This resulted in a BAA of 109.6, placing Glen Ann in the top 200 herds for BAA. Cows were sold to nearby farms in small groups, with some also selling in an online auction. But it's not the end of an era for the brewers. With a few cows and many calves and heifers still at the farm, there will be registered Holsteins calling Glen Ann home for years to come. The next generation, Jackson and Kinsley, will get to know what it's like growing up on a farm, something that is very important to the Brewer family. The Brewers will continue to remain active in the registered Holstein community to build on the legacy Glenn and Joanne created. The Wisconsin Holstein Association is pleased to honor Glenn and Joanne Brewer as the 2020 Distinguished Holstein Breeder. Congratulations. <laughs>